But I saw the movie called Juliet Naked yesterday. This is a movie review for Christians. Um, I always remember to pray the movies. And this movie kind of a kind of put it in one of that in, in the artsy artsy category. Um, it's about this old washed up rock and roll type guy who they call Tucker Crow. And he suddenly disappeared from the rock and roll scene like without a trace at a pretty young age. He just stopped playing. He even left. He left his, uh, he left in the middle of a, a, a concert for no known reason. Well, they do explain it in the movie later on. I mean, it's not based on the true story as far as I know, but, uh, anyways, they, uh, there's a guy. It's in. It's it's a UK movie, basically in in London, and around that area. Uh, there's a professor living with his girlfriend, who's a real big fan of Tucker Crow. He's like number one fan. You know, has all his albums and a bunch of posters on his wall. And he's like a professor, but when it comes to being a Tucker Crow fan, he's like a kid. He goes crazy, like a like a groupie. And his girlfriend, who she does a good job as an actress. I saw her, she was she's the one in the uh, Peter Rabbit movie with who's the who's the actor in that? Anyway, she, she played. She, she was one of the main characters in Peter Rabbit. Uh, she's his girlfriend living with him, and I think they're kind of the relationship is trying to kind of getting a little bit tense because the guy is so so wrapped up in his work and in his infatuation with Tucker Crow. And she's not that interested, and also he's dismissive of her. He thinks he's, you know, he's like a professor with a superiority attitude towards everybody, including his girlfriend. Things aren't that great between them. But uh, one day, his girlfriend writes a review of uh, something that something new by Tucker Crow or something something old but new something that I think hadn't been released before something just happened here and came out so she writes a review of it or something and Tucker Crow himself sends her an email says you, you got it spot on it's exactly right and he doesn't know that she's the girlfriend of this infatuated professor and he tells he tells her if, if she knows them not to give them her his email because he's not that fond of what they're doing as a fan club overly infatuated with him I guess and he's living out there in the UK some rural area living in a garage with his ex-wife, I guess, or estranged wife, I don't know, um, or estranged girlfriend, the girlfriend lives in the house, he lives in the garage, and he has several kids from different women, and the story goes on, and little by little, because of that email contact, he finally meets the professor's girlfriend in London 
And there's a lot of little interesting things that happen along the way. And sort of a relationship starts, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's the, that's the gist of the, the story. So what do I say about that for Christian? Uh, number one, it's like nobody in this movie was married. They're all like living, living with their uh, significant other. Sort of that modern day type of relationship. No real commitment, but you know, just kind of living day by day. Some people say, you know, is a, is a marriage license that, is that what makes us uh, uh, two people married? The piece of paper, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Some people call, you know, so-called modern-day marriage legalistic and question whether it's really meaning, even if it's within in accord with the biblical idea of being married. And that's that's a good question actually, I know. I mean just because you go get a marriage license and you're signed by a pastor or a judge or whatever. Is that the meaning of marriage? That's a legal meaning, yeah. Legal definition, but what did God intend? What did Jesus intend? Uh, I think mostly about meaningful, intentional commitment to one to another, to one another. Yeah, and by making it legal on paper, legal by definition, that's some. That's probably a good thing most of the time, but. Yeah, it should not be confused with God's intentions. But it should, marriage should be something that you make public so that the community can try to help you, help support it. Because the intention should be to stay together. It's not like, well, if it doesn't work out, you know, no big deal, or whatever. That shouldn't be the way it it goes. That's not God's intention for marriage. For all intents and purposes, marriage should be for life. Yeah, there's things happen that make it sometimes very difficult or even impossible, and I'm not judging judging that. God didn't. Jesus even said it was okay in certain situations. But you should be trying to make it work. It's the intention and perseverance that matters. So that's something to think about and pray about. Pray about marital relationships, your own if you're married, or others. Or if there's been a breakup for healing. And then another thing is for the to pray for the kids of such relationships. Especially like the guy in this movie, Tucker Crow, who had gone through several girlfriends and different kids from all these different girlfriends. And he has no way of really supporting them. He gets a little bit from residuals that he, from his music from early, several decades prior. But these kids are really, uh, they really, are at a disadvantage when they don't grow up with both parents. So we need to think about them and pray for them and try to help when we can. Whatever, if it just comes down to prayer, then it's prayer. It's not just prayer. It's Prayer is big and meaningful and powerful. Prayer and, prayer and action where it's where it's possible is even more powerful. 
So do what you can for situations that you might have around your home and your neighborhood and community and church and whatever the situation may be. All the while, keep telling the good news, keep shining the light, trying to fulfill the Great Commission. Please uh, keep the faith, keep growing in Christ. God be with you and bless you. Praying for you all in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.